Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread and Scripture Song broadcast for this uh, 11th day of September 2024. And we've been reading from the 2017 booklet from the Baptist, Baptist Bread, which was written back then on this day. And this day was on a Monday back in that year. And this topic is titled Grandparents Slow and Steady. So we're going to learn a little bit about grandparents here and Psalm 7118a is the passage and we'll look at that in its entirety and all that and before we get started on the scripture song and everything I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ who is the lamb of god which taketh away the sin of the world and he too can be your lord and savior today if he's not already and that is the most important thing you can ever do is trust jesus believe on him and he'll wash away all your sin give you eternal life and then the holy spirit comes and dwells inside of you and separates your soul from your uh, uh, flesh uh, there and and uh, guides you and directs you and, and rules and reigns in your heart as you allow him to. So hope you do that today after you're saved and uh, be a bold witness for the Lord and have a good testimony and all that. And that all comes afterwards as you grow grow in the Lord and, and everything. So, all right, so let's go ahead now. We're going to get into the scripture song uh, here from 1 Corinthians 1. 18 and before we get into the scripture song let's look at some of the um the, uh, passage here let's look at this uh passage here from first corinthians chapter one and let's see here so first corinthians one let's see there's uh 31 verses here so let's go ahead and read this in its entirety why not let's go ahead and get started here and first one it says, Paul called to be an apostle, Jesus Christ, through the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, with all that in uh, every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank my God, always on your behalf for the grace of God, which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that ye could behind, excuse me, so that ye come behind in no gift waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together, in the same mind and in the same judgment for it hath been declared unto me of you my brethren by them which are of the house of chloe that there are contentions among you now that i say or excuse me now this i say that every one of you saith i am a paul and i am apollos and i am of cephas and i am i and i of christ is christ divided was paul crucified for you or were you or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I have baptized in mine own name, and I baptized also the household of Stephanus. Besides, I know not whether I baptized any other, for Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect." Uh, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that in wisdom of God... The world by wisdom uh, knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. 
But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness, but unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and base things of the world, and things which are despised hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence, but of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made uh, unto us wisdom, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption, uh, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. That's right, so that's the entirety of First Corinthians chapter 1, and praise the Lord for that. And now let's go ahead and sing the scripture song for today from the CD with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. And let's go ahead here. First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.18 is the scripture song verse. So let's get to that uh, um, there. So let's do this. Okay. So that's that. All right. Let me move a little closer here. First Corinthians oh, sorry. 1 Corinthians 1.18. <sighs> For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Amen. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of god preaching of the cross the power of god the preaching of the cross the power of god for the preaching of the cross to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God, the power of God, the preaching of God, the preaching of the cross. Amen. All right, so let's put that back to yesterday's, and we'll do those scripture songs again at the end of the broadcast. And let me turn this back a page here, and, and we'll put this aside for right now, and grab the Baptist Bread Book. So let's see here. So let's grab this. All right, so Psalm 71:18a is the scripture song. I mean, the scripture verse for the topic titled Grandparents Slow and Steady, but let's go ahead and look at Psalm 71 first and see the uh, psalmist, see if, who wrote this particular psalm here. So Psalm 71. All right. So let's go back here. All right. So Psalm 71, there is 24 verses here. There is no particular psalmist, so you can read this on your own time. But let's go ahead and get into the uh, verse here. So 18b, let's read the whole entire verse. Let's go here. So 18, it says, um, so it says, Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not until I have shewed thy strength unto this generation and thy power to carry, or excuse me, to every one that is to come. So that's... Uh, verse 18, and I do recommend you read this in its entirety here. So like I said, I'm not sure who the psalmist is. It doesn't give a particular psalmist here, but most likely it's a psalm of David or a psalm of uh, Solomon. 
one of those two, or it might have been a Psalm of um, uh, Korah, but I'm sure it's probably a Psalm of David, because, uh, let's see, Psalm 70 was a Psalm of David, uh, to the chief musician, a Psalm of David to bring to remembrance, so maybe Psalm 71 is one from David also, and then Psalm 72 is a Psalm of, uh, for, for Solomon, so, all right, so that's the... <clears throat> That's the verse there, and let's read um, this again. So Psalm 71, 18a, it says, Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not until I have shewed strength unto this generation. And we just read the whole passage there in its entirety. And today's author is C.S., and this is the author from this day back in 2017, C.S. would be the initials for Chris Staub, pastor of Silvery Lane Baptist Church, Dearborn Heights, Michigan. So let me read you what he wrote here on this topic of grandparents, slow and steady. He writes here, in the uh, horror of the wicked terrorist attacks on the Twin Towers on September 11, 20, uh, or 2001, uh, is the encouraging story of a grandmother who was too slow at least some thought at the time, after seeing the South Tower collapse, the firefighters knew the North Tower would also fall, so they were given the command to cease fighting the fire on the 86th floor. Uh, they began running down the stairwells to beat the tragedy. On their way down, they came to a grandmother who had made it down from the 59th to the 14th floor, gasping for air and too weak to go further. There were six firemen and one policeman who realized they simply could not leave this woman behind. The policeman and a fireman lifted her up and carried her between them. This slowed their descent drastically. As the building and stairs began to fall, they threw themselves on the grandmother to protect her and fell with the stairs. When the dust settled, and they could think clearly, they realized that they were all alive, including the elderly lady. Hmm. Um, let's see. So, yeah, so they were all alive, including the elderly lady. As they were uh, being rescued, they realized that her slowness saved their lives. They had been saved in an unusual safe pocket of debris. It was God's perfect timing coupled with the courageous help of New York's finest. Are you frustrated at yourself or someone else else's slow pace? God may be saving you from a big disaster. Hmm. So you never know. All right, so that was quite a story there uh, of these uh, firemen and, and uh, uh, firemen and policemen uh, with this grandmother here. Uh, so... So again, you never know um, uh, what God may be doing. <laughs> so, all right, that's the end of the topic uh, for today. And amen. All right, so that's that. And put that aside there. And so today's Daily Strength, Volume 2. Uh, we don't have a, a particular topic for today, but we do have uh, some scripture here. And this is uh, continuing on this topic of praise. And today is day 221, church night. And we have Psalm 150, verses 1 through 8, and uh, or 6, sorry, 1 through 6. I think that's the entire psalm there. I don't think there's a psalmist for this one. So let's see, Psalm 150. So Psalm 150. And nope, there's no... Uh, um, psalmist for this one but uh we'll read all six uh, verses here because they're all listed in the in the topic uh, or the church night um for today day 221 church night so all six verses so we'll read them from the bible and it says here in verse one praise ye the lord praise god in his sanctuary praise him in the firmament of his power praise him for his mighty acts Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. 
praise him upon the highest sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. And that's a scripture song also there. So that's the uh, uh, psalm of the day for this church night. And like I said, no uh, devotional. So, all right. So let's see here. What did I do with the, with the bookmark? Uh, what did I do with the bookmark? All right. So I lost the bookmark. All right. Oh, there it is. Okay. So put that there. All right. So that's the, that was the scripture for today for the, Baptist bread, and let me put that up there, and grab the hymns now, so we're going to do these two hymns, the first one I could not find an instrumental to, so I'll just read you the stanzas here, and then we'll sing the second one that I picked today, which is At Calvary, because I have not sung that one in a while, so this is titled Haste with the Bread of Life, and this is another one of these missions uh, hymns and spiritual song written by Julia S. Uh, Haskell. It's H-A-S-K-E-L-L, -L, and she lived in the 19th century. And then William B. Bradbury, 1816-1868. So, you know what? I want to look at something really quick here. Just want to see if maybe there's instrumental. Sometimes I like to look these up here. I meant to do that before I started the broadcast, but let me see if I can find it here. See if there's a haste. Let's see with the bread of life all right lyrics oops lyrics and let's type in William B Bradbury Bradbury. Let's see. All right, so So I just thought maybe there might have been, but there's not. So we'll just do you at Calvary. So let me read these to you first. Let me put that there. All right. I just thought maybe I looked that up on the internet there for another website that has um, instrumental sometimes. All right. So this again is titled The Haste with the Bread of Life. And there's four stanzas here. So stanza one says, Over the ocean wave, far, far away, there the poor heathen live, waiting for the day, grouping in ignorance, excuse me, groping in ignorance, dark as the night, no blessed Bible to give them the light. Stanza two, bowing to idle gods, daily they pray, pity us, ju juggernaut, uh, we've given away, live, lives of our children, dear thee to appease. Uh, give to us, give to us tokens of peace. Stanza three. Here in this happy land, we have the light shining from God's own word. Hallelujah. Free, pure, and bright. Shall we not send to them Bibles to read, teachers and preachers, and all that they need? Stanza three or four. Uh, then while the mission ships glad tidings bring, list as that heathen band joyfully sing over the ocean wave oh see them come bringing the bread of life guiding us home and then the refrain says pity them pity them christians at home haste with the bread of life hasten and come amen so that's the end of the first hymn there too bad there's not an instrumental for that one so let's go ahead now and sing this hymn at calvary and you probably know this one really well and there is a uh, there's two stories actually here and we'll read both of those to you again if you have not heard them the first time around when i've done this uh, hymn in the past so this is one of these the testimony of salvation hymns and this is hymn 416 
A Spiritual Song at Calvary, written by William R. Newell, N-E-W-E-L-L, -L, and he lived from 1868 to 1956, and then Daniel B. Towner, 1850 to 1919. So let's go ahead and press play here on the thing and sing along. Years I spent in vanity and pride, Carry not my Lord was crucified, Knowing not it was for me he died on Calvary. Mercy there was great and grace was free, Free pardon there was multiplied to me, Me there, my burden soul found liberty at Calvary. By God's word at last my sin I learned. Then I trembled at the law I spurned. Till my guilty soul imploring turned to Calvary. Oh, oh, oh. Mercy there was great and grace was free, free pardon there was multiplied to me, me there, my burden so found liberty at Calvary. Now I've given to Jesus everything, now I gladly own him as my king. Now my raptured soul can only sing of Calvary. Oh, 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 mercy there was great and grace was free, free pardon there was multiplied to me, me there. My burden so found liberty at Calvary. Oh, of the true salvation's plan. Oh, the grace that brought it down to man. Oh, the mighty gulf that God did span at Calvary. Oh, oh, oh. mercy there was great and grace was free. Free pardon there was multiplied to me, me there. My burden so found liberty at Calvary. Mercy there was great and grace was free, free pardon there was multiplied to me, me there. My burden so found liberty at Calvary. Amen. All right, good hymn there. Of course, we need to be careful when we're singing that third stanza there. And when we sing stuff like that, make sure we're um, really saying that we're giving, uh, that we're giving everything to, uh, to Jesus, everything. And we say, say, sing stuff like that, but then do we really? So, all right, so that's the hymn there. And now I'm going to read you the stories here at the bottom of the page. It says here in Chicago... The Moody Memorial Church contains a remembrance of the gifted musician Daniel B. Towner. The man led the choir of that congregation for a number of years and was, at D.L. Moody's uh, instance, the first music director of Moody Bible Institute with an expressed focus on the preparation of the youth for leadership in sacred song, William Newell, was assistant superintendent of the same institution and a gifted instructor and Bible conference preacher. Newell practiced for many years a circuit by um, train across the number of uh, urban locales teaching regular classes in the scriptures. The two collaborated on this song in the following manner. So here we go. So this is how they collaborated uh, here in the following manner. Uh, as Newell walked the halls in the institute destined for a classroom, 
uh, the lines of the song flashed into his mind, diverting uh, the, the side uh, into an available room. He scratched the rhyme as it now appears on the back of an envelope. Immediately after spying his colleague, he requested that the musician might compose a melody and continued to his waiting students returning from his lecture in a lecture a mere hour later mr newell found that dr towner had completed the request and the two sang the lines together for the first time amen so that's the story there behind this hymn and how the two collaborated there and now the references we have stanza one is psalm 10 4 2 Corinthians 4 4. Stanza 2 is Romans 3 19 through 22. Galatians 3 24. The light, uh, stanza 3 is Romans 12 1 and 1 Timothy 3 16. And then stanza 4 is John 3 16 and Ephesians 2 11 through 13. And then for the refrain, we have Ephesians 2 4 through 5 and Romans 3 24. So that is the end of the second hymn. And now I'll put that back to uh, tomorrow's hymn and we'll put that aside for right now and now let's grab the scripture song book again and we'll sing these scripture songs one more time and then we'll wrap it up after that so here we go let me grab this here and go back to yesterday's from the 10th all right so here we go <clears throat> john 20 30 and 31 and john 21 25 and, and many, many other, other signs truly, truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, disciples which are not written in this book, but these are written, that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you might have life through his name. And there are also many other things which Jesus did, which if they should be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books, the books that, that should be written. Be written. Amen. Here we go. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that he might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you might have life through his name, life through his name, through his name, amen. And there are also many other things which Jesus did, the which if they should be written, every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. These are written that he might believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And believing you might have life through his name, life through his name, through his name, amen, amen, life through his name, amen. Praise the Lord. All right, now today's one more time. 1 Corinthians 1, 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness but unto us which are saved it is the power of god 
preaching of the cross, the power of God. The preaching of the cross, the power of God. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. The power of God, the power of God, the preaching of the cross, the power of That's right. Amen. Okay, so that is it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topics for the Baptist Bread and the Daily Strength Volume 2 books and then the hymns for tomorrow. So tomorrow will be the 12th already. And Deuteronomy 111 is the scripture song verse. And we'll look at Deuteronomy chapter 1 in its entirety and get some context also tomorrow. And so the um, verse is... Um, from verse 11 in Deuteronomy 1, it says, The Lord God of our of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as ye are, and bless you as he had promised you. So that's tomorrow's scripture song. And then the Baptist bread topic as we're continuing on this uh, one from 2017 until we get the new uh, one. And I uh, just got an email from the pastor of the uh, church uh, there that um, um, is in charge of... Um, the pastor of the church and he wrote uh, and said that the uh, um, new Baptist bread has been sent out and so hopefully it'll be here by the end of the week uh, Lord willing and then we'll start in and read those old ones or the ones that um, that I wasn't able to cover at the beginning of the month and then we'll just keep reading these until the box comes in so hopefully it'll be in by uh, Saturday uh, Lord willing so we'll just keep reading these old ones here and they are uh, been some good ones so far and tomorrow uh topic for tomorrow for the 12th is titled living by the well and we have john 4 14 so this will be about the uh, woman at the well how jesus came to her and we'll read the entire account there of the woman at the well and get that so the author for tomorrow is brother guy goodell and you know he went to be with the lord uh, not long ago so he was the um the one who wrote this and let's see he was from Hudson Falls New York and he was the pastor of Bible Baptist Church uh, there in Hudson Falls New York for such a long time until he passed away so uh, pray for his family and loved ones there and and uh, all that and that they continue on in serving the Lord and so that'll be the topic for tomorrow living by the well from brother Goodell Amen. And then the Daily Strength Volume 2 book. And we open this up here and give you the title for tomorrow's uh, topic as we continue through this weekly topic on praise. And tomorrow's Day 222, Thursday, titled The Foundation of Praise. And we have Psalm 22, 3 is the scripture song or the scripture verse. I keep on to say scripture song verse. Uh, the scripture verse for tomorrow we'll look at psalm 22 and look at the psalmist i believe it's a psalm of david there and then the hymn for tomorrow is titled holy 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 and that's a really good one there so we'll sing that one as the second hymn and then the first hymn tomorrow i think that this is a familiar one to you and this is titled from greenland's icy mountains and this is another one of these mission hymns a spiritual song written by Reginald uh, Heber and then Lowell Mason. And there is a little story here um, at the bottom of the page. And so from Greenland's icy mountains, and uh, I believe there's a missionary um, uh, there that we support, um, uh, the Scholl family. Uh, um, I believe they're in Greenland. And so um, pray for them and their mission work over there in Greenland. Uh, and I'm sure you probably know who they are. If you're not, um, I'll try to give you their information here. I need to find their prayer card and give you that information for them. Uh, so, amen. All right, so that's tomorrow's first um, hymn there. And 
This is the cover of the book I've been using, the hymn book. This is the dark blue cover, and there's also a lighter, lighter bluish grayish cover, and then there's a uh, brown cover, and then there's a leather bound edition, and then the spinal edition. I think this is still available. This would be this type of uh, backing, side backing there. It would replace this type of backing. So and you can find um, all those um, books there. And then the Daily Strength Volume 2 book. There's four volumes to this series of books. And they're all available on MelodyPublications.com. as the website there. And there's also some CDs on there you can order. And some other things. Um, if you check out that website there for those books. And then the Scripture Song book and CDs. This is the cover of the book. And then the back here shows you all the um, different covers for each month and then the favorite CD down here uh, the favorites from Brother Dean and Sister Patty Runyon and you can find uh, this in uh, the scripture song uh, CDs you should be able to find them online at www.jamesww um, not Jane, but www.dailyscripturesongs.com that's the website for Brother Dean and Sister Patty Runyon and they were missionaries at Port Cartier Port Kaitum, I can't uh, speak right now, so I'm a little tired there. I just got off of work uh, not too long ago, so doing this <laughs> now at the end of the night. So uh, please uh, bear with me. I apologize for for um, stumbling a lot. <laughs> so um, so anyway, so that's uh, their website there. Uh, Brother Dean and Sister Patty, uh, missionaries, uh, were, were missionaries to Port Kaitum, Guyana. So pray for them as they're traveling around the U.S. and for the mission work to continue on there in uh, Guyana as they're looking for a pastor to take over the uh, work over there at the Lighthouse Baptist Church in Port Kaituma. So um, right now there's just brothers and sisters in Christ um, doing the work over there and, and brothers getting into the pulpit and preaching God's word, but they do need a pastor that would be able to um, be able to church uh, fully. So pray to that end there and uh, amen. All right, so that's that uh, information, and then the Baptist spread uh, here. This is the cover from uh, the 2017 book, and this is from September and October back in that year. And been reading through that book until we get the new one in for um, uh, this this month and next month, 2024. So, and then we'll try to do some uh, recording um, and then upload those um, as I'm able to. So, um, hopefully, that'll be in soon. And you can get subscription going by going to baptistbread.com oh, or www.timgreenministries.org. Uh, um, and that's the second um, website there. And there's other um, books there to order and uh, check out if you want. So that's timgreenministries.org. Uh, second website there. And then the Bible, the King James Bible. This is the Word of God. The First book we need to be getting into and reading it and studying it and showing thyself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth and going to God in prayer and seeking his face and asking him to guide you and direct you in all truth as you're learning to live for him each and every day and have a solid relationship with the Lord and all that. So, amen. And then the other book I've been reading on a different broadcast. This is the book of uh, Genesis, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series. Written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox, and he has written this book a long time ago. And this is a devotional type of uh, book here. It has different outlines and topics for each day of the year. And we have come to this seven, uh, September 11th, this uh, day here from um, uh, so September 11th. Uh, today, this uh, topic is titled A Company of Ishmaelites. And that's already been put up in, on the Facebook page. And, and then I'll be uploading it onto the YouTube channel. I have to check to make sure I upload it on to the YouTube channel there. And so that's today's topic uh, for September 11th. And then tomorrow for the 12th will be the coat of many colors. And then on the 13th we have Envy. And then on the 14th is Judah and Tamar. Which will be the start of uh, chapter 38. And we'll read that in its entirety on that day so that's uh for the next few days there and if you want to get the pdf file for this book this is not in book format but there is a pdf file you can order and that's at www.jameswnox.org or go straight to the store part of the website which is store.jameswnox.org and 
look up his books there. And then there's also preaching and teaching from God's Word uh, from Brother James and other men that teach the Bible um, during Sunday school hours and um, days when Brother James is traveling around. And then the YouTube channel is James Knox Sermons YouTube channel. Look up the video presentations for those sermons there. And then uh, for the broadcasts I do, uh, that's Ambassador for Bro uh, Christ Broadcasting or typing in Baptist Spread Broadcast and look me up that way and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the YouTube channel there. So that's uh, how you can watch those videos there. Amen. All right. Well, that's about it for today. So thanks for watching. And may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now.